Oh, who lives on his couch next to his TV. So hungry. Pale and porous is he. Ethan. Mm, you're not that porous. Oh, I want to be more porous. Hello, everyone, and welcome to SpongeBob's Truth or Square. Let it begin. Subtitle, press start to begin. Alrighty then. Accept it. Accept it. And, and like it. And doesn't even let me deny it. What if I don't want to save, man? You have to. You uh, have to save Bikini Bottom. Fine. Accept it, Ethan. Accept your fate. Oh, Gary! I'm so excited! I can't believe tomorrow is the 117th anniversary of the Krusty Krab! No! That's right, Gary! Mr. Krabs is letting me have the party at my pineapple! He's letting me pay for everything, too. Isn't he great? No! SpongeBob, look sharp, me boy! Tomorrow's a very important day! For Kashi! Think of all the Krabby Patties we'll sell. Uh, Mr. Krabs, shouldn't the secret formula be in a safe place? Good thinking, lad. Here, take the formula and put it somewhere safe. Aye, aye, Mr. Krabs. I won't let you down. Hey, Patrick. What are you doing here? Mr. Krabs hired me as security for the big event. That... Oh, no. Patrick, where did I put the formula? I can't remember. Did you look in your pocket? It's not there! Oh, hey, hey, maybe it's in my pocket. Nope. Okay, SpongeBob, don't panic. I can feel my normally carefree and jovial attitude dissolving away! What does that mean? It means I'm sad, and when I'm sad, I can't remember anything. Patrick, we need to find that formula before you know who does. P-L-A-N-K... P-O-N! Oh! Plankton, how long have you been there? Long enough to know you're in big trouble. <laughs> well, SpongeBob, seeing as we are friends, um, it seems only right that I help you remember where you put the formula. Oh, that would be so nice of you, Plankton. I'd love your help. Hey, wait a minute. How do I know you're not just trying to get the formula all for yourself? Um, my honest face? Then okay, let's find that formula. Okay, let's review, shall we? Step one, strap sleeping SpongeBob into chair. Check. Step two, shrink bots. Check. Step three, do laundry. I mean, insert bots into brain. Check. Step four, turn on remote. Check and double check. Now, with this control, I'll guide my precious nanobots into the deepest recesses of SpongeBob's tiny mind, where I will extract from his memory banks the precise location of the Krabby Patty secret formula once and for all. It couldn't be easier. <laughs> okay, change of plans. I will now enter SpongeBob's brain and find the formula myself. Whoa, he just shoomped into there. Whoa. Big ol' whoa. That's a two-player game. Really? Player two, press start to join. Or does it say that? It said it in the top corner a second ago. What? Should I play along with Ethan, guys? Absolutely. It only says, oh, co-op. Two. I don't have another controller. We'll try it out next time. I don't have one set up, so... Talk to Patrick. But this chest... Need more health points? Look for the claws in Spongebob's house. Also, if it goes to split screen, I won't do it because I want this to look good for your viewing pleasures. Whoa, there's upgrades in this. Oh, we're going to unlock all the costumes right away with a little code, a little phone call so that we can use them. So we don't have to worry about unlocking them because I want to share with... The world, the awesome costumes. Yeah, health upgrades are way more important, too. You know how brutal SpongeBob games are normally. Right? So let me get this straight. The only way you're going to remember where you put the formula is if you're happy. Uh, that's my key story. Seriously, SpongeBob, how hard can it be to make you happy? Oh, wait a second. Remember when we went jellyfishing? That made you happy. Wow, Patrick, I feel happier already. We've struck a memory gusher. 
Let's dig deeper! What contest does Sandy enter SpongeBob into? Whale lifting? Clam baking? Anchor tossing. Do I have to choose? I don't think so. Oh, you do. I'm gonna or say it's whale lifting. I'm gonna say clam baking. Ooh. We were both wrong. Was the audience right? Maybe. Hey, look at me! I'm jellyfishing! You little jellyfish and get in my net! I don't remember all these robots when we were jellyfishing. Of course they were there. You probably just didn't notice them, what with all the fun you were having. Yeah, you're right, Plankton. We probably just didn't notice them. Spatula slam! Oh yeah, dude, we're gonna be a burger or a Krabby Patty flipping machine. We're gonna be the half slinging slash slinging slasher. If that were a thing, we would be that, yes. I mean, it is a thing. Sponge spatula square pants. That's awesome. I like it. Very cool. And Rock Gary. Rock Gary! Ah, tutorial stones. And imagination boxes. Must be teleport points. Yep. Those are pretty common in most of the games. Yeah, this is a game made by Heavy Iron again. The last one we played was also made by Heavy Iron. Who is actually back in business. Last time, when we recorded last year, they were out of business and their website didn't exist, but now it does. Okay, so you gotta whack those baddies or, I guess, flip them or spank them with the spatula. I gotta scrape the goop off of the dirty, dirty oven. That's what I gotta do. I think you're a spatula spanking Spongebob machine. I like how the box's face is changing when you get near them. They know what's coming. All happy and smiling. Uh oh. Dude, I like the one up. I think that's what that is. Uh, I'm pretty sure that is a one up, yeah. It's weird that the currency has SpongeBob's face on it. It's like he were the president. I would never elect SpongeBob as a president. Uh, I mean. What about Patrick as president? That's a big fat, heck yeah. <laughs> Plankton as president? Yeah. No, I think that would just be communism then. But, yeah, fair. But I think if Spongebob were to become president, we would have free ice cream every day and we would all be goofy goopers. Yeah. Not if Mr. Krabs has anything to say about it. Uh, Eugene's no fun. He makes people work. It's because he's crabby. Zingers, Ethan. Zingers. Please. That was my super enthusiastic laugh. I think I just killed that dude. Again. Killing him twice. Never be too sure. Pretty sure he just said he's so happy he could hump a jellyfish. You gotta be pretty happy to be willing to do that. Mm -hmm. Gotta hump the jelly right out of him. You gotta go Lafteruski right there. I oh! Have to jump across all these jellyfish. Ooh. Get jelly with it. Ooh. Oh, also, everybody, we are coming close to actually playing. Actually, we're not really that close, but closer to playing all the SpongeBob games ever. How many are left? Well, I think we're done with all the ones on, like, systems. Now we have to go back and play PC ones and handheld ones. If we, play... if we really want to play them all. Well, this is also a handheld one. Although we didn't play some of the ones that are just mini games or, like, the Boating Bash. We haven't played those yet. The Boating Bash one isn't terrible. No, it looked kind of fun. It looked like a Demolition Derby. It is. It's actually before. It's pretty good. We'll have to try that. Maybe we could squeeze that one in. We have it. Yeah. Is it, like, campaign-based, or is it just chaos? Your ass is what it was played in a couple years. Okay. The spatula slam! Come on and slam, and welcome to the jam. Not slim the slam jam. Turn on. I am the 
think he's a sponge. Are you sure? He looks more like a spatula to me. I mean, maybe he's both. Maybe he's a spongulo. Ooh, a new breed of sponge. It's for cleaning off your grill and flipping patties at the same time with that dirty, nasty spongula. Spongula Steve Square Grill. It's for those extra greasy burgers. You soak up all the grease with the spongula and then you flip the burgers, re-greasing them. Ooh, that's a good idea because that's Kevin's favorite. Who's Kevin? It just said it on the top left of that billboard. Oh yeah. Kevin's ointment. It's his favorite. It takes away the sting. Oh, it's a flying Dutchman. Arr. Wow. I just killed the flying Dutchman. That was a lot easier than killing him in that other game we played. And a lot quicker, too. Killing Neptune was really hard, too. Well, yeah. I forgot about that. That was maybe my favorite boss fight. Just because of the Goofy Goober song was going the whole time. Hey, uh, hey, Fist Dude, you're right. You just punched that glass really hard. Fist and glass. Probably not fun. Probably a bit sharp. Oh, this is for victory. You got a sprain in your step? A rootin' tootin'. Feeling good, spring in my step. Some rootin' tootin' cowboy shootin'. That's true. Did we win? Or is that just a checkpoint? Do you have to actually jump in those or nah? Just to smack them? They might not be open until you played it before, maybe? Okay. Oh, you daredevil, you. How could I say no to three lives? Oh, living on the edge. And if you fall in the water, you might accidentally soak some of it up, so be careful. Wait a second, we are in the water right now. So why would the water... We had this argument one other time. But why would the water in the water hurt you? Well, there are underwater currents of toxic or much colder water in the oceans. I suppose, but I mean, he's a sponge. There's a challenge. We have to come back and do things later. Uh-oh. Because I need that lunchbox. Just jump right through there. You need to complete the level before accepting this challenge. Just jump through the hole. What hole? The hole. What you hole? clearly fit through. Right Sorry. There. <laughs> uh, just like, uh, the, this is just giving me flashbacks of Darksiders 2 where every single gate you got shut off inside of was like twice the width of your body. Yeah, like, it doesn't make any sense. Come on, man. Where's the detail in the game? I demand detail! Sorry, I'm unfamiliar with this term, detail. If I don't get detail, or large amounts of cookies in the next ten minutes, I am gonna cry like a little baby. Oh, well, it looks like you're gonna cry like a little baby, then. A bubble-blowing baby? Yeah, that's what you are. Don't tell me what I am. That's what you aren't. Don't you tell me what I aren't. That's what you may or may not possibly be. It's, All definitely, right. it's oh. definitely what you are. I'll accept that. I will accept that. I'm glad you're accepting that's what you are. So if you lose another hit point, do you go down to just underwear? Whoa! The tongue surfing's back! I can surf uphill? Sorry? That is cool. Surfing in the juice. Or in this case, the jelly. You can't handle the juice. Oh, I love grape jelly. Why peanut is butter and so jelly. White? Peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Oh, so good with the grape. Look at these sick tricks. 360 tongue twirling. So these levels are kind of open worldy, huh? Yeah, and I just got whoa. You just got super happy. It's the happy dust where you poop rainbow the whole time. Yay! So it works like the star in Mario. Everything I touched there was dying, and I can get hit. That's cool.
I can see him making platforming hard though, because I stepped on those boxes and they broke under my feet. Uh oh. Alright guys, next time, more Spongebob. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up also for the start of a new series. We'll see you then.